Hey guys, what's up? What is a hidden gem and what is an underrated game? We kind of need to redefine the terms, specifically because I've done a bunch of videos over the past three years where I've kind of mixed the two terms. Like, there's been several games, several RPGs that I've called both a hidden gem and an underrated game. So which one is it, right? I guess I always use them both as if they were kind of synonyms. I mean, they aren't, but it's like the same term in a sense, specifically if we're talking about the JRPG niche. For example, a hidden gem is a game that is obscure or no, nobody knows it, barely anyone talks about it, but it's quite good, right? It's obscure, it's unknown, but it's very good. However, an underrated game in the JRPG niche might be just the same, a game that just didn't get a lot of ratings or the ratings were kind of bad, mixed reviews and all that stuff. So how are we supposed to differentiate one term from the other? Well, here's my idea. Let me start by saying that the fact that I've called games like this both a hidden gem and an underrated game is because I think my channel ever since I turned into English and specifically made it about JRPGs, it's become sort of like a niche channel, like a small home for JRPGs. I've always done my videos to approach to precisely the JRPG niche market and gather people who are kind of knowledgeable in the genre, that are maybe familiar with a game like this or maybe have heard of it, so that's why I call this an underrated game. But what about the casual gamers? What about the casual RP gamers? And even some of the knowledgeable RPG gamers out there may not be familiar with this game. So, in other words, this is more like a hidden gem than an underrated game. So the thing is that I wrongfully assumed that since starting this channel, a lot of people were going to be familiar with these types of games, underrated games. But I realized that I was wrong. You know, a lot of people over the course of my YouTube career have told me, oh, hey, thank you, you introduced me to these kinds of games. Oh, you're talking about games that I never knew about. And these are RP gamers, comments from RP gamers. So I just assumed that everybody knew games like Grow Lancer. And no. So that's why I also treat this game as a hidden gem. So now that I've made this convoluted mess in my channel, I think it's time I redefine the terms, in my opinion, of course, what's a hidden gem and what's an underrated game is entirely subjective and it's based on your opinion, my opinion, and we may have different perspectives about the terms and the definitions. What's a hidden gem? To me, it's a game that's highly unknown, obscure, barely anybody talks about it, nobody knows it, or just a very small few group of people know about it, and it's actually good. It may range from decent to good to very good to masterpiece even. And an underrated game is more like a game that is actually known, not as popular as the mainstream games. Let's just set up a bar, okay? There's the unknown, the unknown, the obscure, the hidden world of video games and the mainstream. Let's just say the underrated games are more like in the middle, like in the gray area of gaming. So a game in that area cannot be a game like Grow Lancer because after all, how can it be underrated if nobody rated the game? Nobody has ever rated it, maybe just a few people, a few reviewers like me, and that's it. Nobody knows about the game. How do you expect the game to be overrated, rated, or underrated if barely anybody rated the game? So an underrated game, in my opinion, is a game that was rated, but maybe one, one of two. One, maybe wrongfully rated, unfairly rated, like the opinions were kind of hollow, the reviews were kind of hollow, they, it didn't get the attention it probably deserved, or two, it was rated, by some people it got good reviews, but not as much reviews, not as many reviews as most of the mainstream games. And these are games like the Trails of Cold Steel series or any Trails game. These games are not hidden gems anymore. These are more like underrated games because people know about them, they're popular, but they're nowhere near as popular as Persona or Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy. And they probably deserve that, right? Those are good examples of underrated games. And that's it, people. That is my opinion on the terms. I have officially redefined the terms, in my opinion, of course. Redefine the terms in the comment section below if you want to, and share this video with your friends. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.